So friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about Stata and uh, the way we can find out the tables, uh, regression tables. So we can create regression tables with the help of outreg to command. So uh, let's begin uh, with this tutorial. I hope uh, you will get maximum out of this presentation and you will also learn how to create tables that are required to put on in any academic paper. So friends, let's start. Uh, so, but before starting, uh, I want to uh, request all of you to please subscribe my channel and also like my presentation. For this uh, presentation, uh, Let's take the data on the import the data on this data. So this is my data in which I will import the first row as variables and tick on this checkbox. Now I have the data with me. So I'll go to, I'm uh, showing, not showing the commands to you, but I'm going to the uh, main menu of this data through which you can find out linear regression and in which it will ask about dependent variable first. So let's take one dependent variable, which is suppose pre-market under pricing, another dependent variable, independent variable that I'm going to take here is the dummy variable of underwriter technology and venture capital and one more dummy variable which is a small form dummy so I'll keep everything as it is here uh, I am not going to suppress constant term or uh, here user supplied constant I don't have any as well as uh, there is no need to adjust all these constant or treatment of constant is not required. But one thing that I am uh, supposed to do when I am using the linear regression model is that I should at least have robust standard errors. So I will click on robust standard errors and then I click on OK. So this is my regression. Now. I'll use uh, outrig to command to create the tab table. So I'm first up, first I'm going to write is outrig to using my reg dot doc comma replace column title the c title is column title and i'm going to replace the column title with model one so this is the command and i'm giving this command here right so this is uh, one regression that i run now let's take the another regression But before that, I want to tell you, when you uh, run this command, your documents have been saved as myred.doc and this document have created a table which can be used for publishing your papers, like which can be used to put on the tables which are required by good journals and that would be in their format itself. So that's the advantage of using this command. Now, uh, because this is one regression that I have run, suppose uh, another regression, in, in another regression, I am not going to take uh, a one a particular independent variable. I have changed the regression model a bit. This is the second model and I run the model. This is the output of this regression model. Now, my second command would be outrig to again 
using my reg dot doc append append c title and this would be called as model 2 right so by using this command what i am doing is i am going to incorporate this second regression also into my first document that i created by using this first command so in the first model for the first document i had only one regression in the second now i am appending one more column i am adding one more column for this second regression in my regression table so i run the command and this is my output my track.doc so if you click on this particular document it would uh, give you an output on uh, the word document and this would look like it is going little bit it's taking a little bit more time so let's have some patience so yes so this is my model in which i you know, this is model is giving me all the variables that are independent variables and by their names model 1 and 2 and uh, some observations the number of observations and r squared values with uh, robust standard error in parentheses these all are robust standard errors and the p values are significant values are marked with 3 star 2 star and 1 star according to if it is significant at 1% 5% or 10% level of significance here nothing is significant so i am leaving all uh, because this model is leaving all things all together as it is so this is one demonstration uh, my friends by which uh, you might have understood that creating tables on stata is very easy by using outreg to command so i think i hope uh, you, you like this video if you really like this video and you have learned a little bit about uh, outreg to command Please uh, appreciate my efforts, like my channel, and uh, subscribe my channel too. So, for the another videos, uh, kindly tune in to my videos uh, to my channel. And next time, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about other aspects of Stata. And uh, I hope uh, this this whole journey of learning would be uh, quite interesting for all of you so thank you so uh, thank you everyone thanks a lot